Hi, welcome back once again. In the last video, we talked about the HTTP GET request and Postman application. In this, we're going to talk about the POST request in HTTP. Okay, so here we are in app.js files and to get, to create POST method, all we have to do is simply, I have to call the app method and here I have to write the POST method. So let me open my Postman applications and let me show you what I mean by that. So right now I created this get method and with the get method we can able to access all the informations, all the details of the products right here. So right now let's simply copy this entire code and let's click here create one more file and simply here. And this time we'll create a post request okay. So I'm creating this separate file okay so make sure you do the same thing. So let's save it and here I can say C-R-E-A-T, create P-O-S-T, post, okay, create post and save it. So this URL stands for post requesting. So I'm creating the post in the same URL and getting from the same URL, okay. So this is the post request. So if I click right now, nothing will happen. We'll get this error because we haven't defined that yet. So let's come back in our code editor and let's remove this and let's type once again, app dot post post because this time we want to create a post method okay same thing I want to do I want to create the post on the same URL so this is the URL I have will simply copy till here and on this URL I'm creating this post method post method paste it same thing request response and callback function so with this post method what I want to do I want to create a product and add into my data JSON file okay here and here you can see all this product has one thing common almost everything is common all this product has this id is equal to zero id one so every product has a unique id so first thing i have to do is to create an id on the base of this product data so if i come to my postman application here you can see in all products here the result is nine so all together i have nine product but if you come and look into my data json files the id is still eight because javascript start from zero base it's a index it start from zero then one then two so i have to do a little bit calculation so what i can do i'll take a variable i'll say new id and i will take the entire product data so all the data i have into this product data file okay so i'll say product data product data then i will take a product data dot dot length and this will give me the complete length of the product so altogether we have nine product so i want to subtract with minus one why i'm doing this way because in javascript index start from zero so i want to make it minus one so i will get eight and here i have to specify that id and then i will plus one so it becomes nine once again okay so this is what what i'm doing here now I'll come down, I'll take another variable and this time I'll call new peer product, okay, new product. And I will use object dot assign. In this I will take a, an object, so I'll take an ID and the ID I want to assign which I have created this new ID, okay. So my new product which I will create, they will get the ID from here and it will assign here. And where I want to add this data, I want to add this data in request dot body. And this is the method from Express. We are getting this method from Express, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so just so when you the only thing you have to keep in mind when you are adding any product and you are using Express, so you can easily use this request body where you want to send the data. Okay, and this object assign stand for when you want to add data into existing files. So suppose in this sample data we already have a couple of files product details. And we are adding the information in the same file so that's why we use object.assign okay so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind let's come here what i will do now i'll take the perk data and i'll say dot push method so push method in that i will pass the product so it's nothing related to backend development it's simple javascript when you want to push anything into an lm array this is how we can do it so we are pushing the data into the main sample file okay in the file which we are reading from okay in the same file again i will use fs module and this time instead of using read we have to use write because this time we are writing into the file okay so i'll say w write file single in this we have to 
one is right file and one is right file synchronous we go with synchronous way and again we have to follow the same conventions so back take i'll use this dr stand for current directory then pro duct product then we have into the data then we want to write into the sample dot json and here we have to convert the data is coming in form of object java zero object and we want to convert into a string so we can add into the sample data so we'll use again json dot stringify so and in that i will pass this product data so as you remember that here we have converted that stringify into a java zero object using json dot pass and here what we are doing we are converting from object to java string by using this json stringify i'll use this convention and this time i have to check for an error so there might be a chance that while sending this data into the server we might get some kind of error so we have to catch that okay and in this we have to send the response so to the client so what i will say i rest dot status and the status is 0201 stand for created so when you create any new document this is the code status code you have to provide 201 so it's going to be a json and inside this we'll send this object one is status is going to be subject and the success s-u-c-c-e-s-s -E -S -S, success and what i want to send in response of the post i want to send the same data the user have provided to us into the file okay same data i want to send back to him so simply what i will do i'll simply data and i'll call this new product and that's it but this time this might be not working uh, why i'm logging out console this data again again okay let's come here and let's see okay here i'm consoling console log out the data so let me uncomment this so right now we don't have this okay let's bring it down let's save it so right now we don't have this but if we make this request nothing will happen we'll get the error so let's come here and let's send the response so nothing is happening and can you guess why it's happening let me tell you let's come back here let's come back into our terminal so here we can easily able to read the document but to use to write into our document we have to use one middleware express middleware to writing an object into existing file and we'll talk about a lot middleware in the letter down the section so simply type this okay tick app dot use and inside this express dot json so this is how you have to this is what exactly you have to write and with this we can easily able to write the document into our file okay so we'll come here and what we can do we can come here and just simply select this body because we want to write into our data json file and click on this row and select this json because the data we want to write into a json format so what we want to write so simply come here and let's go here in the sample data and let's grab details okay so let's grab this first detail here this object complete object come here and here we have to provide the details which we want to write okay so what i can do here i can simply remove this id because id will generate dynamically let's get rid of this as well and save it so if i save if i send the request we'll get something so let's see what response we are getting let's come back to our terminal mm, let's come here and come here once again let's send a request nothing is happening okay what we can do here let's come down here and instead of read write files ring let's console log out this okay so console.log and we can check that whether we are creating the id or not okay so we can save it and let's send the request it's getting rid of and here as you can see that we can successfully create the id okay we are creating the id and let's bring it this down and bring it here down and let's check whether we are passing the data or not okay simply come here paste and simply come here and make the request once more time minimize this and here you can see we can easily able to write the document so as you can see we have created the id where it is 
just come down let's save it once more time and let's make the request one more time and this tab so here you can see we are creating the id we are providing all the details so we are able to do that but why it's not displaying in our here we are not getting the response so let's come here bring it down and instead of write file strings let's make it to only write file okay we not we don't want synchronous behavior here so i think this time this might work okay and boom here you can see right now we can successfully create in the file so if i click one more time you can see the id will keep change and if i come here in my get all products so right now we have nine products so if i make the request i can able to get 17 okay i can able to see all the product details which we have created okay so you can able to see 13 14 15 16 and 16 okay if we come here and if we go into the json json file if i save it and here you can able to see that now we can easily able to write into our internal server files so this is how we can create a post method in our api so it's working fine we are creating an id id for every single post we are assigning that id into existing data which we have here so let me quickly summarize what we have done so what have we have done we have created this post method http post method and we are creating this post on the same url as on this get method okay what we are doing we are creating a new id so based on the product length we are creating a new id and using that id and assigning to this new product on existing data so we have already existing data in the simple data and we are adding this new product into that data so we are using this object dot assign we are consoling log out this so let me remove this one and with and that data we are pushing into this data so we have into this data file which we have here using the javascript method dot call pushed and this write methods which is a node model we are using it to write it and then we are sending the response back to the client so whatever information he has provided we are sending back to him to let, let them know okay these are the information you have provided to us and we have created a similar data into our database and you can see status course is 201 if i come here in the postman you can see it's a get method if i come here here you can see status code is 201 the time it took and the size of the data which you have provided so this is how you can create post method into your api so with that we are done with the post method don't need to worry about it we're going to use mongoose for creating this id dynamically so that will make our work very easy you don't need to worry about this ids it will automatically create it by mongoose but to make you understand that is there is another way you can use it and create an id so there is always good to know all these things before we move to the advanced level of this advanced topics so this is how you can create a post method in the next video we'll talk about that how you can get single post okay single post so right now you can see if i'm making this request on this url i'm getting i'm getting all this information together but what if i want to get a particular particular post so you might be seeing that when you request a particular product you get information related to that particular product in that particular page okay so how you can get a particular post a particular product details that's what we're going to do in the next video so let's move to that